The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Now, Tom O'Brien, Daryl Martin, and Steve Rhodes. Welcome, folks. Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling out here with us right now. We get the Dow Industrials down 87. NASDAQ off 28, S&P's off uh, 14, we get gold off 2, silver is down 6 cents, you get bonds up 21, king dollars off uh, 213. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, this is a great time to try it. Come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see the Nadex banner in the front, the top, and on the right-hand side. You can hit that, they'll put 25000 into your account, funny money right now. We can get up and we can get going. I got to tell you, man, I just wasn't here yesterday, and you guys couldn't even hold this market down, you know? Down line, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know what was going on with that market yesterday, man. It was, a, it was an interesting day, to say the least, but it was fun. Listen, this, so. this, this is what's so cool, folks, okay? Let me tell you something. This is going to be a trader's paradise for another couple years, okay? This is the, the action that was out there yesterday. I was on a plane yesterday when this was happening, right? And I was looking, I was saying to myself, oh, what a trip this is. And what it is, folks, is this. When these numbers start hitting, which they're hitting, we actually came down, and we came down with volume. You went into the 14th, um, you know, small break top side with dramatically higher volume. And this is the type of action that I wanted to see, basically, uh, because it's the deviance inside it. But this is the type of action that you get a much, much larger pullback. OK, because they got them good, man. They got them on the upside on the way, you know, when that burst upside, bye, bye, bye. Some of them got yep. out. Some of them didn't get out. They got the dip yesterday. Figured they had it made, which they've had it made for six months. Bottom line, right back at you. And what you're going to have now, you're going to have a high volume off the high. You're going to have a high volume into the swing point on the dailies and on the weeklies. So we got we, this. There's real action here. And of course, the last part is that if. <laughs> The thing that really, there's no doubt, I thought I would actually see more yesterday, even in the press. A couple of the Tigers picked it up really quickly that the last time that the S&P actually got over the highs and closed 1% under them, folks, both of those times was March in 2000 and October of 2007. You didn't know what happened in both those really? cases. Yeah, it's, it's, wow. pretty, it's pretty intense, man, when you really think about it. Do you know what I'm saying? It really is, you know. Okay, so say that one more time now. The last two times, I'll bring, I'll bring it right up. The last two times yeah. that the S and P closed over its highs and gave up one percent that exact day, right within one percent, was the high of March of two thousand and the high of October of two thousand and seven. And specifically, the S and P. The first time we did it, we went to fifteen fifty two, and I remember trading that day. This, we go from 1552, we get down to 775 in the S&P. The second time, I, may, I remember both of these because Larry and I were actually on the same trade. And when it bursted topside at 1576 in October, and you went to 1576 and went down to 666. Those are the last two times. that. So specifically what, what the S&P did is this. You get the spike higher, gets everyone either out or in even more. Give it up by 1% that particular day, that's it. Now, where I'm looking at the market right now, we're at 1640. The proof in the pudding would be getting back inside 1576. You get back inside 1576, and it's, it's, it's pretty intense, man, because that just means you're in the lower end of the range again. So that's a wild statistic, though, isn't it, Darren? Oh man, yeah, it's like I'm I'm always looking it up. I'm like, yep. I know. <laughs> That's pretty man. cool. I know. Amazing. Man. I'm all about the stats, you know that. So <laughs> Yeah, well and, and what happens, folks, it's just amazing, you know, market wise, like how does this work? How does uh, a number when you're dealing with a fifteen seventy six, I don't care if it's a fourteen thousand, I mean, how can it get so close and you know, go, 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 and then all of a sudden it you know, it can go for breakout and you need follow through. Or it just doesn't make it. It's like, okay. Like that, that game's over now. There's a new game on, you know. So we'll see where it shakes out. Listen, folks, 
Don't forget, Daryl has his own program on TFNN, broadcast each and every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. It's an outstanding program. You want to understand Linadex product upside down, okay? Let me tell you something, man. We're going to tattoo across Darren's, uh, Daryl's uh, forehead. Nadex. <laughs> no, totally, man. Totally. Totally. Hey, listen, I got a question for you. I, I, got, a, I, got, an go. I got an email this morning, and when okay. you and I were talking... Um, about uh, the premium collection, okay? Um, yeah. if, you, if you can walk, because a couple of the listeners, they were in their car, evidently, when, when you were on the other day. Um, and so, I figured that might um, get a few people interested. Yeah. yeah. So if, if, you can, if you can walk us through, you know, how this works. Um, okay, so just basic premium collection? Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. we've we got to start at that point, yes. Okay. The simplest method for premium collection is on binaries. Okay. Okay. That would make sense. No, this is cool. Okay, I got it. Right, right. Okay. okay. And so because like, it's yes or no, right? Okay. Yeah, it's a, exactly. It's a yes or no, and um, so you can be on either side of that equation, right? Right. So you're gonna go in and like so just to show you on the binary scanner here. Okay. Um, that uh, is that casting through right there over on the tiger down there, so you can see it. Yes. Um. All right. So. Let's see here. Okay, you, yeah, because they're saying they can't see it, but you can see it. Okay. Oh, hold it. Go ahead. Okay. Try it again. Try it again. Okay, let me try one more time here. Uh, for some reason, I think it just didn't log me in correctly or something. Okay, that's all right. right. Well, I wanna, well, well, you really can start talking. We can, you, you, you can get, you can get, we'll get the chart in when uh, we take a break. That's all right. Go ahead. Okay. So what you're, basically what you're going to do is you go in, and just to give you the basic summary without even seeing anything, okay, you need to go in and make a statement. Like, is it going to be greater than this or less than this, yes or no? Okay, so is the Dow going to close, you know, greater than 15,150 would be an example. Okay. All right? And <clears throat> it's already greater than 15,150, right? Yes. It's at 15, like, 2 right now. Yes. So if you go in and say, yes, it's going to close greater than 15,150, well, yeah, obviously it's already above that price. So your the probability is in your favor, correct? Because it could stay flat, it could go up, it could even come down fifty ticks, and okay. you'd still be correct. Okay. On your yes statement, does that make sense? Yes. So sort of like think think like a, you know like an iron condor. You oh. know, I mean, okay, it has to move really far for you to be wrong. It can stay flat, it can go up, it can go down. Yeah. As long as it doesn't go too far in one specific direction, you can make money. Okay. Okay. So in this case, you could say greater than fifteen one fifty. So you you sort of have a a bullish bias, but it could come down to fifteen one fifty one, and you'd still make money. So if you're going to do that and put that trade on, let me see. I'll give you a live example. Okay. Yes. And uh, let's see here. Fifteen one. Okay. So like right now, if I want to say before noon, um, the thing can expire higher than fifteen one sixty one. That's actually a real example right now. Okay. Okay. Now I'd have to risk seventy five dollars to do this trade. Okay. I'd make twenty five. Okay. All right. But if the market stays higher or stays where it's at now, yes. or goes up, or even comes down, you know, thirty something points, I will collect my twenty five dollars. Okay? Yes. So now think about being able to do credit spreads every single hour. Right. Versus once a week. All right. right. Now, first you go, wait a minute, 25 bucks for a $75 risk. That seems a little stupid, you know. Well, one, I mean, that is the nature of credit spreads, okay? Yes. But what's really cool, what's never been possible before, okay, okay is now I can also flip this thing around. I can make it a, you know, an iron butterfly, an iron condor, whatever you want to call it. And I can say the market's going to stay lower than 15,221. 15,221. And we're 15,206, okay. Yeah, fifteen one nine four right now. Okay. So, um, and so if the market will stay below fifteen two twenty one, and above fifteen one sixty one, on both sides I'm going to collect twenty five dollars. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, because I have a seventy five dollar risk on each side. Right. On both sides I'm going to collect twenty five bucks. Now, it is not possible for it to finish both above fifteen two twenty one. And below fifteen one sixty one at the same time at twelve o'clock, correct? Right. It's gotta either finish higher or lower exactly. or in between. Right. But it can't finish higher and lower. Right. So only one side can lose. 
Worst case scenario. Okay. So if I lose 75 bucks on one side and I make 25 bucks on the other side, yep. then my net loss would be 50 bucks. Okay. Right? Yes. So lose 75, make 25. Okay. It, so if it goes below 15161 and by the way, stays below 15161, I lose $75 on the bot one saying it'd be greater than 5161 because I was wrong. It went, it stayed below it. Yes. But I made 25 bucks on the one where I said it'll be lower than, it'll finish at 12, lower than 15221. Right. So I only lost 50. Now, if it goes up and the one I bought saying it'll be greater than 15161 and at 12 o'clock it is greater than 15161, I'm going to make $25. But if it like finishes up, say, at 15240, okay? Ye yes. Well, then I was wrong on my one where I said it's, it's going to be lower than 15221. So I lost 75 bucks. So my net was a $50 loss because I lost 75, made 25. I'm with you. All right. So now, now we can agree that my total risk on the trade is 50 bucks. Period. I got it. No right. matter the worst case scenario, I lose 50. Right. Now, how much do I make if it stays above 15, 161? I make 25. Yeah. Right. How much do I make if it stays below 15, 221? I make 25. Right. If it stays right here, I got it, man. What a so trip. So I make okay. 50 bucks. Right. So now you got yourself a one to one. Right. Iron Condor, premium collection strategy. Right. That you can do every hour. That's a trip, man. Yeah, right. You can do no, it daily, I, hourly. I can see it. You can, and you want to know like some cool times to do this? When, when is the market super flat? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm talking yeah, about like, no, I, out I of any market. It. Well, you know what? Even like, you got lunchtime? Yeah, and okay. I, what you have right Asian? now, I, I'm with you. You can see the, see the first expansion down, folks, was dramatic. So it's like, okay, the energy, you know, it took a lot of energy to just bring the market down, you know, 13 S&P points, uh, 80, 80 bucks. So yeah. it would make sense that, that it bounces around here for an hour. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take advantage of it right now. Yeah. You got your lunchtime lull, like after, you know, 11 or 12 o'clock. Right. Uh, think about the Asian session. Yes. I mean, like after 5, 4 or 5 o'clock, okay? Right. And then, like, the 7 o'clock, 11 o'clock p.m., there's actually expirations that last 23 hours now on Forex. They go 7 p.m., 11 p.m., 3 a.m., 7 a.m., 11 a.m., okay. um, 3 p.m. Plus, you have the ones that go every two hours, okay? Right. So you can hop in there. I love to do this. I'll hop in. I'll wait, like, the end-of-the-day stuff, shake out on FX. Yeah. All right, so, you know, the FX pits close at uh, 3 o'clock. And then there'll be a little bounce around movement into the end of the day for, like, the next hour, hour and a half. Okay? Yes. And... So I can go in like at 4:30 after the you know the major indices have done their their thing, yes. okay, and I can put on a seven o'clock or eleven o'clock expiration. I mean, how far do you think the euro dollar is going to move? Yeah, yeah, I'm between you, folks, 4:30 and seven. If, if you I mean, this is a gold mine, if yeah. people get it, it's money. You want to get over, folks, and, and test drive this product because as Daryl walks you through it, I know one thing: whether it started with the S and P's, with the OEX, with the Pro Shares. When these things are new, folks, you get a you get a window of uh, about two to two and a half to three years um, before they really get the understood. Easy money. And exactly, it's different money. It's different money, folks. It's it's clean <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's different money. You stay right there, Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. We're coming right back, folks. The art of timing the trade charts has officially launched at TFNN. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind software, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, Butterflies, ABCs, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the market for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, and even months searching to find. As part of our introductory pricing, we're offering licenses available at only $59 per month. We're so confident that you'll love this new outstanding piece of charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Lock in your low price today by ordering your copy at TFNN.com. 
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus can Contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. McEwen Mining is a high-growth, mid-tier producer in the Americas with a market capitalization of $1 billion. Experienced mining executive Rob McEwen, as chairman, CEO, and president, owns 25% of the outstanding shares of McEwen Mining and has put in place an ambitious business plan with the goal of qualifying for inclusion in the S&P 500 by 2015. With $70 million in cash and liquid assets as of the end of 2012 and completely debt-free, McEwen Mining is poised for growth. Production in 2013 is forecasted to grow at 24%, reaching 130,000 gold equivalent ounces. And over the next three years, McEwen Mining projects that their production will increase to 290,000 gold equivalent ounces, almost a three-fold increase from last year's totals. If you'd like to find out more about McEwen Mining, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE or TSX under the symbol MUX. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow Mott, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We're right now, you get the Dow down 91. NASDAQ off 26, S&Ps are off uh, 15, uh, you got the uh, European markets, we're down 68 in the DAX, 47 in the FTSE, gold's uh, down 250, bonds are up 24, and what you have with bonds, folks, when I wasn't here yesterday, what bonds did do, they got under the low of the high volume spike, uh, which was on Wednesday, uh, that, that had 800,000, and it did, uh, it did right what it's supposed to do. Got underneath that, rejected it. Uh, you're going back topside again, and it never got into the actual uh, bottom of that swing point. So bo bottom line is that what you're going to see is that you're going to see bonds go higher again. We're going to get that life jacket for Larry, and he's going to be taking that boat ride. <laughs> <laughs> we get our man, Mr. Darrell Martin. We're, talking about, we we're just talking about the premium collection. And uh, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV right now, we have his analyzer up. Uh, which this is an amazing tool, man. It's absolutely an amazing tool, no doubt. All right, so here's what I do. Okay. All right, if I'm going to get what I want to do a trade. Yes. And I want to do premium collection. I'm going to put my risk at 70. Okay. Mi like minimum risk. And if you're in your, in your car right now, folks, we're looking at a, a, a software template, a beautiful software template. It says risk right at the beginning as, as he's walking it through. So just picture a template as you're driving and Daryl will walk you right through it. Cooking, brother. All right, so I'm going to put 70. And then I'm going to put, say, 90. 
Okay. Okay. So seventy dollar minimum risk to ninety dollar maximum risk. Okay, cool. I got it. So the seventy is not a percentage; it's the amount of money. I got it. Okay, cool. Exactly. Right. Okay. So like one binary maximum, the maximum risk on a binary is a hundred bucks. Right. So I'm making it seventy to ninety. So don't show me the ones that have ten and twenty and thirty and forty dollars. Okay. Because those aren't premium collection ones. Right. Like it had, if it's premium collection, if the market doesn't have to move and you'll make money. Yes. Okay. And what it happens, has to yeah. move. It's directional. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So and then I can choose a market, any market I want. So yep. say Wall Street 30. Okay. okay? When I come and, down and here, I don't know if you noticed before. Wall Street Look at this, how this 30, folks, is the Dow Industrials. They just call, call them different. Okay. Exactly. So the Dow, yeah, the, the right. YM, the Dow yep. 30. Yeah. So as you notice, there was a whole lot of uh, strikes before. Yes. And now all that show me is the ones that have that risk parameter. Nice. Okay. And then what I can do is I can log in to my Nadex account. Yeah. Okay. So that's why, like you are telling people earlier, go get your Nadex account. Right. And here I'll just uh, do this on demo for a second. Yeah. So we can just show how it works. Okay. And so once I've logged in over here, um, then I can go in and I can actually just, uh, by the way, at the top you can choose live or demo. Okay. We just added this feature. It's really cool. That is cool, uh, man. And you can do it on the spread scanner too, because you know they may defer a little bit. You know, demo and live accounts. Yes, exactly. No, so, they do. yeah. Right. So we actually have both data feeds coming into the scanner now. Okay. So you choose it, and that way it'll always match up for you. And uh, then you just simply click, like right here, on the ticket, and it'll open the ticket for you directly in the Nadex platform. Right there, we get the ticket up right now, folks. Exactly. So I can make one fifteen. I can lose, you know, three eighty five right. on this trade. Okay. So I hit place order. And then over here, I go and I do the same thing on the other side. Right. Click that one. Open that up. And I'm just randomly putting one on to show you an example. That's all right. No, you know what? This right random there. one's going to make money. So this is going to be what? <laughs> did you just hit the noon one? Which one did you hit? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this yeah, is we, we, can, we can do, yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is the 12 o'clock one right okay, there. Okay, I got it. Okay, great. So, and uh, so, I mean, we got all the different, you know, expirations we want. I mean, there's, you got 15205 to 15165. I mean, I can make basically 45 bucks on that one. Yep. Uh, we just chose the fifteen two twenty one to fifteen one sixty one. So this eleven o'clock one, I mean, it expires in thirty minutes. That's not a bad trade in itself. No, it's not. So, uh, I mean, that's that's pretty decent. But you can go in, you can do these. I, I do them a lot, and I'll even do them directionally, which feels a little bit more crazy because I'll do them like right before. I mean, five minutes before expiration. Yes. Okay, and. Uh, because they'll get, you know, you can't really price these things in the last few minutes. Yeah, right. Because it's a probability. Is it going to be, the thing has to be worth zero or a hundred bucks in like four minutes. Right. So, and we, you know how we've seen how the ticks will, these things will go from like 30 to 70 to 20 to 10, you oh, know, yeah. they just go nuts. Oh, yeah. Well, I was like, I'll go in there and we'll have three minutes till expiration and the Dow is 12 points away. Right. And I can go and I can buy this thing for $30 premium collection. The, the Dow would have to move 12 points against me in three minutes. Right. And the market's just chugging along. Right. And uh, and, and it's so I mean, tempting, it's not, folks, to be a, on the other side of that. And But the premium <coughs> oh, side yeah, is right. Oh, yeah, because I want to make 30 bucks. No, like, I know. I want to collect the 30 bucks. I know, man, I know. I know. And it's, it's, it's awesome. I mean, this is becoming one of my favorite ways I, to trade I, on Nadex. No, no, I, I can see why. You stay right there, folks. Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien, appreciate your growling problem with us out here. Right now, you get the Dow Industrials down 74, NASDAQ off 24, S&P's off 13. We're going to be coming right back, folks. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, gives you Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. With Market Insights, nothing is left to guessing. With the market at record levels, volatility is here, and now is a perfect time to take advantage of a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights. As recently as March 26th, Tom advised his subscribers to liquidate their four short-term equity holdings, closing out all four positions for a combined 15.9% profit. And on April 1st, Tom advised his clients to sell their longer-term position in AIG warrants, locking in more than a 40% profit in just that one trade. If you'd like to see the kind of newsletter Tom O'Brien sends out to his subscribers each morning, then sign up for your two-week free trial to Market Insights today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com.
No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Daryl Martin, Tom O'Brien. appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. And, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform yet, come over to our website, hit the Nadex banner. You can open the uh, account right now. Uh, bottom line is that you can open a real account, folks, only with $100, too. And once you get the, whether it's the demo or the real account open, folks, you can come over and test drive Daryl's analyzer right at TFNN. So uh, don't forget, uh, you know, because it's one thing bringing the account up. It's another thing... Um, Coming, going through the amount of contracts that are out there. And if you want to make it easy, efficient, and clean, uh, this tool is absolutely an amazing tool. Uh, yeah, let me show you this. Talking about number of contracts. Like, this is insane right here, okay? Yes. We're going to go over here to say, like, Euro dollar. Okay. I'm, I'm going to get rid of every Which is filter. just so sweet trading. Uh, the, the currencies, folks, in Nadex are just amazing because what you have, of course, if you trade currencies, you know that you can't sit there and not get out when they're spiking against you. But, uh, and that's how currencies are trading now. They're spiking left and right. Uh, but the bottom line, with that Nadex product, you can. Because you don't have, the, the, the risk is that defined. You're not losing more money in or making more money. So. All right, so check out. I know, it's, like, it's insane. This is how many contracts are in here. By the way, understand that. We're not looking at the 7 p.m., the 11 p.m., the 3 a.m., and the 7 a.m. So there's about 80 binary contracts that aren't even on this because it's Friday. Okay. Right. right. Here's just the 11 o'clock expiration. 24 minutes from now. You should see them all, folks. I'm looking at about 
Maybe 35 <laughs> to 50, right? About about 50, yeah. Okay, right. Okay, and then we got 12 o'clock. Yeah. And then we have 3 o'clock. Amazing. So we have the weeklies and the dailies coming together. Yeah. And then we're going to have the intradays pop in there, too. Okay. Okay. And so, I mean, you're talking right now probably about 100-something, 120 yes. different binary strikes available. Normally, there'd be about 180, like on Monday, Tuesday, okay. you know? Right, right. So, just because you have those, those evening expirations, because uh, they go 23 hours, and uh, they have two-hour ones, and they have 23-hour expirations, and they have multiple 23-hour expirations. So, and you have the weekly expirations. So, you get all these contracts that you're trying to sort through to find the best uh, trade. Exactly. Well, look at half of these. They have like the exact same risk, exact same price. Right. So you don't even need those. So I'll go in here and I'll go, you know what? At the very least, I probably want to have at least a $5 risk on the trade. Okay. <clears throat> Just because, I mean, if it's less than 5 bucks, I mean, you're buying a lottery ticket. Yeah, no, no, for you're sure. You're like, oh, sure. the, the Dow's right. going to go to fifteen four today. Right. You know? Well, right. it may, but come on. You know, is right. that really going to be where you're going to put your money? No. And, um, yeah, exactly. So it's like, no, it's just uh, ridiculous to even think about doing it that way. And so we can go in there and make that our, uh, you know, minimum risk. And we can go in and we say, you know what, maybe I don't want to risk more than 40 bucks or whatever. Okay. It'll, it'll narrow it down even further. So what, it, what he just okay. did, folks, he said, he said, okay, what's the dollar amount I want to risk? And as soon as he put that in, it got rid of everything else and cleaned the palette so you could see the contracts that you could deal with and, and, it brings it down quite a bit, which is great. Yeah, and I mean, you can go in here and you can, I mean, you can change up anything you want. You can go, you know what, I want a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. Yes. Okay? Boom. And now it's going to drop everything that doesn't meet that one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. Right. Um, and I may still go, you know what, in addition, you know, $10 risk just so I don't have the ridiculous stuff. So everything on here can at least make a dollar for every dollar being risked. And what's really cool is you start seeing a curve. Let me show you this. This is a cool feature. Okay. Um. We added in, we're about to add in another, we're adding like 12 more features this weekend, by the way. So they ought to be live by Monday, hopefully. Or Tuesday, since day next will be closed Monday. Yes. Um, but I can go in here, and let's say I go in and just say, we'll say like $10 to, you know, we'll say $50 risk, okay? Okay. And I can go in here and say, what would happen if the euro dollar went up to one point, we'll just say three, okay? Yeah. And now it tells me the price that the binary will be worth if it moves to that, what my P&L is, oh, that's and cool. wow. what my reward risk ratio is. So I can actually see, check this out, I can see the curve okay. in the reward to risk ratio. I'm going to lower it down a little bit further up here so you can really see that curve. And uh, let's see, let's make that like zero. There we go. Check this curve out on the reward risk ratio. So we got a one, basically a one to one. We got a six to one. We have an eight to one. We yep. have a thirty-one to one, and then we start going down. Okay. Twenty-eight to one. Look at the, yeah, to that's one. cool. Both ways, right? I got it. I got it. So okay. now, if I'm really going for maximum, you know, if I really think it's going to go up to one point three, and I mean that's that's really my trade. Like that's my target. If it doesn't hit that, I consider it a loss. Like in my head. Yes. Okay? Right. I can go in. I can risk three bucks. And what we're talking I'll about right now, this is the euro. The this is money. the euro we're talking about, folks. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. And so I can actually find what my best return on investment is going to be, and because it, it shows me that that curve right there, yes. and the um, the the basically the you know the ratio curve, whatever you want to call it, the skew. Yep. So the the return skew right there, and so I can I can easily identify it. Thirty one to one. Yes. And so to buy one above or and every once in a while, and I've seen this happen. Uh, every once in a while, you'll actually see um, this. This may have happened on the air last week when we were on there, but you can go in and you'll actually see where it gets off, and sometimes you'll actually find a better one for less risk that's closer. Right, right. And uh, you wouldn't see that without a scanner. I mean, there's no, just no you way. Because what happens, folks, is you got to remember something. The, the oh, market here go, makers, here, here. they get there. You know, you can get mispriced in two seconds. I mean, you know, well, they won't stay there long. But let me tell you, <laughs> and check out this misprice. There's one right here. Okay, look at this. Right. Okay, so we got 1.2922. Okay. All right. I can um, sell that for 95, which means I can make $95. Right. Okay. And then there's a 1.2920, which is a lower price, right? Yes. They expire at the exact same time. Amazing. And I can only make $89. Right. Which means I'm going to make less money. Okay. Yes. 
going to make less money on that trade. By six and a half dollars, six bucks, right. Yeah. Well, well, in six bucks, folks, in this particular case is, uh, what's, uh, that's, that's 7%, uh, it, right, right. Yeah, so I mean, a 7%, yeah, well, that's a really good way to put it. Yeah. So you get a 7% difference on your trade right there right. on these two right here. Right. 7% difference that you never would have seen. And here's the reason is we're, we're actually looking at the dailies, the intradays, the weeklies all coming together at once. Yes. So we're really analyzing the skew. So there's a mispricing in the market. We can see that misprice. That's amazing. And, I mean, think about this. When you're doing a binary, now, it, this is only if you hold to expiration, which I don't recommend people do. But if you do, right. okay, one tick makes literally all the difference. Yeah, it does. It okay? does. Oh, it's because huge. Because when yeah. I sell, I'm saying the market will be less than or equal to... 1.2922. Right. And we're at 1.2942 right now, folks. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. So if I do that, if I say 1.2922, I can make 97 bucks. But maybe I was looking at a different expiration. Yeah. Okay. Inside the Natix platform. Right. And I chose the 1.2920. Yep. And which pays out 91, which looks really good. Right. Okay. But what if the thing finishes at 1.2921? Right. Amazing. Not only did the guy who sold the one point two nine two two make like ninety seven bucks, right? He made money. Period. Yes. Okay. Right. I lost like ten dollars on the trade. Right. The and, max amount. Yeah, you lost the max and, and amount. And I risked more money than they got. You should never be risking more money for it to move further. Right. Amazing. You know. Yeah. And that's... so, like that yield right there would save you because it'd be so easy to go and go. Okay, well, that's the best trade I can see on the on the scanner. Right. You know, I mean, on the platform, if I'm over here. And so I go up and I just, you know, if I look at it, I'm like, these are the 11 a.m. expirations. And I'd be in here to be Forex binaries. I'd yes. go up here to Euro dollar. I'd go over here to 11 a.m. And I'd probably be looking at the dailies. Right. And I'd see this right here. And, you know, 1.2920, you know, there's $91. Right. Okay. Well, that looks like, I mean, this one's 97. That one's 91. The next one is 49. So, right. yeah, $91. That looks like a good trade. But then I didn't know if I come over here, 1.2922, 9%. Ninety-six dollars. Higher that. strike. Yep. More profit. Right. Higher probability of being profitable because it's closer. And now there can be three or four of these that expire at the same time. Sure. And what this does, it just boom, it's right there in your face. You can't miss it. It's amazing. That really so is. So it's, it's it's really cool. No, so that, it's a it's 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 real. We say it does the math for you. It does the math for you. <laughs> exactly. Which you need. So. That's the that's the bottom line. There's no doubt about it. You know, and folks, as uh, we're kicking into this weekend, don't forget the Tiger Dollar promotion. Uh, this is coming to a close, folks. So if you want to save 20% or make 20% on your money, uh, bottom line, this is how you can do it. You can buy Tiger Dollars. You buy 500, you get 600. No expiration date. Totally transferable. Good for all the products at TFNN. Um, now, what we're doing with this promotion is that we're donating in your name 5% to the Boston Fund. Uh, if you buy anything under $1,000, we're donating 10% to the Boston Fund, anything above uh, $1,000. And uh, what I'm doing uh, personally is that uh, what will end up happening is that if you buy Tiger Dolls on this promotion, I'm going to be doing uh, two online workshops when the market's open. Uh, the first workshop uh, is going to be the beginning of June 17th, that morning. That's a Monday morning from 9 to 12, and what that's going to be all about is that, okay, how you'd be trading the whole week, whether you're trading currencies, options, futures, uh, Nadex product, the whole ball of wax. The second one is going to be on Friday, and that's, uh, that's, going, to, uh, that's going to be white light, then that's option expiration of the dailies and the monthlies. That also is going to go from 9 to 12 that day. Um, so if you want to get a great education, give a donation to the Boston Fund, in your name, get the tax write-off, and make 20% on your money, well, you get another few days to do it. Uh, we do this a few times a year. Uh, it's a great way to uh, basically, uh, you know, get product at the right price. So um, this, this market, I, I can tell you, you know, I, it, what's interesting is that the, uh, w there was a question in the den, and, and this was pretty cool. So with the question in the den, what, folks, when I was talking about the S&P, um, going to the highs, and then coming off the highs more than 1% in March of 2000, as well as October of 2007, uh, one of the questions in the den was, well, you know, what is the psychology in, in those two tops versus the psychology right now? And I can tell you flat out, 
that the psychology in 2007 and now was the exact same. And in fact, that's sicker. And this is why. If you, you can go back to, I don't care whether it's the TV, whether it's any of the bulls, every single day it was up. Which So the psychology was, hey, it has to go up. If you remember on the TV, whether it's Bloomberg or whether people were thinking that, hey, you're never going to get a retracement, that things have changed. And how many calls came in here that, no, this is a different market because the Fed's con continually bringing it in. It's never a different market, ever, ever, okay? The, so that was 2007. 2000 and, in 2000, that was a different animal. What happened in 2000, see, the S&P made its high in March, okay? But the NASDAQ had already crashed. So uh, that, the, the reality in 2000 actually hit January 3rd. And January 3rd, I remember so well, and you've probably heard the story a million times, but bottom line is that uh, it, that hit because Qualcomm came off that high and went down $400 in, in a matter of, uh, I think, about five or six days. Um, you know, and that wasn't supposed to happen. You know, the WorldComs and all this, they had already blown up. But psychology-wise, I would say that it's there. The, the thing that absolutely blows my mind, and, and I, I, I'm... I'm I think the way this is going to play out, that we're really going to have a bull market, but it's going to be after this vicious retracement on the way down. And then it will, you know, because what you'll see is that the market has taken people's money three to four separate times in the context of 15 years. And I, what I can't understand is that how people just continually believe that you just put your money in the market and, you know, it's going to be all right. It's like, what are you, crazy, man? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, I don't get it. But the... The, the machine, the, the marketing machine of Wall Street is absolutely yeah. incredible, man. It really is. It, it is absolutely <laughs> incredible, man. I mean, you know, and folks, you can go, you can go back to, the, yeah, you can go back to the 1920s, the 1930s. You know, you can, you can go back to all of that, okay? And it's like, man, oh, man, this is just unbelievable. Somebody's got to buy all this stock that they're trying to sell off. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That, that's... Yeah, but, yeah, that's how it works. That, I mean, that's, you know, that's absolutely how it works. And and and, and what and what you what you also have here, uh, in correlation of a euphor well, a euphoria is the amount of um, money, the amount of IPOs that got pushed out into the marketplace. I mean, push that paper out, man, and they did it, folks. There was more yeah. IPOs that were pushed out last month. Than there has been since 2007. So oh, that's crazy. It is crazy. No, it, uh, it it's all there. It's it, so it's 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 intriguing, man. You know, the the market's intriguing. Period. But I'll tell you, it it, it will. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. And and specifically, you know, the bond market is still screaming it wants to go higher. The dollar screaming that it wants to go higher. You know, it did happen this morning. It was kind of interesting. I, I've been, you know, I talk a lot about dollar bonds. And the demand for dollar bonds across the, the, the world. Uh, what did happen this morning, which is interesting, I thought, is that Russia uh, pulled, they were doing a dollar bond deal this morning, and they couldn't get, um, well, they didn't want to pay the interest rate. That's what ended up happening. Their rates so it only went at 50 basis points. And, and it's a dollar bond, but they pulled it. So they're waiting for that bond, our bond, it's up 21.6 right now. They'll wait for that to go up another, about a point. Let's see, a 10-year, no, about a, about, a, mm, about a point and a half, and then they'll, they'll push that baby out. This is Gerald Martin, Tom O'Brien. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow up, down 69, NASDAQ up, down 20, S&P's off 13. We're going to be right back. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for.
Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, has helped subscribers for over 10 years navigate the high-risk world of exploring and producing gold companies. And now's a great time to sign up for a free month-long trial to see the kind of insight that Tom delivers for his subscribers on a weekly basis. Every Monday, Tom O'Brien issues a quick update on the metal market, giving you his take on the HUI, XAU, GLD, dollar, bonds, and much more. Tom follows Monday's update with a full gold report, which is delivered to subscribers Tuesday afternoon with detailed coverage of 24 separate gold or metal stocks, as well as another 10 to 15 stocks that he lets you know are on his potential watch list. Get your month-long free trial to the Gold Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Don't spend another year navigating the metal markets on your own. Act early in 2013 and make the most of your gold and metal market investments. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Let me tell you something, folks. I I have people coming up to me saying, I just can't believe the amount of work that Steve does on his newsletter. Yeah. And I says, I absolutely agree. That is a recent clip from the Money Masters show that Tom and I do each day at TFNN. My newsletter service, Mastering Probability, is much, much more than a newsletter. Yes, it's outperformed the S&P 500 by 100% during the last 15 months. But more importantly, it's an extraordinary education, a roadmap for your success. And it's yours risk-free for the next 30 days. Just go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and then Mastering Probability. Because everyone needs a success strategy. For most, it's a competitive edge, the will to win, the drive to overcome any obstacle. Whatever you call it, winners find a way. Find your way to Mastering Probability today. Because your journey to extraordinary rewards is just one click away. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Down on Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Don't forget, folks, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. And, of course, on Fridays, we're keeping you healthy. We get Nico and Paige coming up. Then we go right back down to Dallas, Texas. We got our man, Mr. Daryl Martin. He's going to be growling and prowling with you one to two. Uh, David White, uh, two to three. And then uh, I'm going to be back here four to six. Uh, Market-wise out here, let's just take a look. Uh, what we have. So, MVOL, let me just see this for a second. So, on the dailies... We're going to have a, a lower low with volume expansion. And on the weeklies, we are also, because in the weeklies and the spy, oh, look at this. Oh, this is going to be a trip on the spy. So in the spy, you talk about a follow-through, folks. So this would be a beauty. Um, you know, well, we'll see what follow-throughs next week. But uh, right off the bat, you do have a follow-through here. Uh, and it's, so the SPY is at 164. How we get into the 158 is going to basically say, uh, quite a bit about where this downdraft's going to go. You know, when we were just talking about the highs in 2000, the highs in 2007, one of the tigers in the den, we're talking about, okay, and this is so cool because the 1500, think about it, folks, 1500 SPX in 2000, 15, well, 1641 in 2013, what can you buy with it? It's not what you keep, it's what you can buy. And there's no doubt about that, man, so. Going to be wild uh, shaking this out. You know, uh, but uh, the most beautiful thing we have right now, and as markets change, is we get uh, this Nadex product that uh, Daryl's been uh, 
bisecting and dissecting and that analyzer of his is uh is pretty amazing man you got to be so psyched man <laughs> oh uh, yeah i'm just i mean i build a thing for myself yeah no i know listen you know, I've, 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 I've watched i've watched the thing turn into a monster man it's a beautiful thing man you know so i mean i'm using it every day you know for my own trading i mean that's why i made it because when i started trading nadex i'm like this is a pain in the butt you know to go through it, it, and it, find and try to it, find it, all yeah. these spreads right. and do all the math and it's not that it's hard math i mean it's no. some subtraction no, multiplication it, but but Mark, there's, a, there's, there's 300 choices you Mark, know it's a moving exactly exactly and i don't have time for that i'm i'm it's enough to focus on the charts right that, and so right. i started building this thing step by step and then finally i brought on some programmers and i mean it just keeps growing and um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's just been sweet. We just keep adding to it. Now we got the binary one in. We're about to add in a hedge one. That's we're starting that project next week. Okay, uh, where you can just do the hedges, so that way it'll be separate. So we have the spread scanner. Okay, you know the binary scanner. Yep. Now we're gonna have the hedge scanner, which is so if you're a futures trader, you know you like trading oh, yeah. S and P E mini futures, right. gold futures, Russell, whatever. You right. know, if you're a forex trader, you're a dollar, and it's gonna show you how to hedge the futures with Nadex. So think of like married puts, yes, okay, or married calls, right, for day traders, right. I know. I know. And so we're gonna make so you'll be able to go in there and go, hey, I want to trade the S and P five hundred long, and it'll instantly show you. We'll then sell five spreads out of all the spreads. Here's the, you know, the premium. You know, here's the intrinsic value. Here's the extrinsic value. Whatever. You know, just like a, you know, if you think in insurance, you have your deductible, That's you have your right. premium, right? That's right. So it's the same way like hedging works. So your deductible is the difference between where you are going to get protection and the value. And then your premium is what you got to pay for that. So just like when I get insurance on my house. Right. You know, if I have a house that's worth, let's say, 300 grand. Right. Okay? And let's say I have a $5,000 deductible I have to hit if the house burns down. Yes. Right? And then i got to pay, I don't know, 100 bucks a month. Right. You know, for insurance. Um, then I'm going to lose 100 bucks a month no matter what. Right. Okay? If the house burns down, I'm going to be out five grand. Right. So, you know, on an annual basis, assuming, you know, we're, like, let's just say in 12 months it actually did happen, that'd be horrible, but let's just say it did happen. Bummer, yeah. Then <laughs> I'd be down 6200 on my $300,000 investment. I only lost $6,200. That's not that bad. No, it's not. You know, so that, that's sort of how this works. It's, you know, I'm only down, say, 150 bucks on my S&P future, even though the actual future burnt down and lost, you know, Big two money. grand. Exactly. Yeah. You stay so. right there, folks. Uh, man, Mr. Basil Chavez coming up next. Of course, Daryl's going to be right back with you at 1 o'clock after Nico and Paige. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks so much, Daryl. Have a great one, man. Come right back, folks.